we're going to talk more about where we're at with respect to using PRF for intrabony defect regeneration. So this is a topic that I'm personally involved in because, of course, I like the field of perio, and we're doing a lot of work, of course, with platelet-rich fibrin. This is research that I actually do in my clinical practice as well. So we've known for many, many years that you can do intrabony defect regeneration with platelet-rich fibrin. In this case here, you know, raised flaps, this is cases that were provided in uh, the textbook. And you take a platelet-rich fibrin membrane, you can cut it up, especially at the bottom, and you can literally take these intrabony defects and incorporate platelet-rich fibrin in here in such a way. Now this will typically lead to uh, nice regenerative outcomes, which will be very comparable with DFDBA. So those studies have been done. There's been a lot of randomized clinical studies that have been done on this topic. Now, one thing that's quite interesting is to look at the number of studies that have actually been done in this field. So in 2016, when we wrote the first textbook on platelet-rich fibrin, of course, there was a lot of different randomized studies comparing open flap debridement to OFD plus PRF. And you saw improvements in periodontal pocket depths. You saw improvement in clinical attachment gains, okay? The clinical attachment level gains. So you typically saw improvements here. And when you looked at the study DFDBA versus PRF, look, Pocket depth reduction, no difference here. Cal gains, no difference here, no significant difference. So very similar to an allograft, and of course much better than open flap debridement when used alone. And there's been a lot of studies, like I said, by the time we wrote the first textbook in 2016, a lot of work had investigated this topic in many, many studies. And one of the big ones was using PureF uh, in comparison to DFDBA, where there were, again, there was no difference between these two groups. Today, when we fast forward uh, many years, now there's been a lot more research that's been done on this topic, and now we can do meta-analysis that are quite nice. We can compare open flap debridement versus PRF and look at all the studies that have been done, and in these studies, the more you see the bars over on this side, the more it favors platelet-rich fibrin. So now we can see that PRF is definitely better than open flap debridement, and it's a clear significant advantage here. When we look at bone graft versus PRF and the number of studies that have been done, very, very similar, okay? So there's no difference. It's not favoring PRF. If not favoring bone graft, it's very similar. When we look at bone graft versus bone graft with PRF, there is some improvement using PRF, but it's not significant, okay? So some of the studies show no difference, and so there's no advantage here to use it in combination um, in those cases. There's also been some studies looking at barrier membrane versus PRF, and the PRF is a little bit better there. PRP versus PRF, no difference. Emdogain versus PRF, no difference. Emdogain versus Emdogain plus PRF, no difference. PRF with metformin. PRF with, with bisphosphonates. Now you start to see advantages here. Or PRF with statins, you also see advantages. So that's one area probably that's going to be more studied in future years is just combining PRF with different types of uh, maybe antibiotics with bisphosphonates, different types of scenarios where you might be able to get a little bit more periodontal regeneration. Today, many, many people are going more uh, towards the use of lasers for these intrabony defect regeneration. This was a nice um, video that was provided by one of our co-authors of our textbook, uh, Fabrice Baudot, and he showed that you can use the Erbium YAG basically to clean out first with an Erbium YAG the periodontal pockets and then after what he does is he actually cuts up the PRF membranes and he'll actually take these and place them inside the pockets. So you'll see here, um, he'll use the same instrument for um, placing uh, cords and you can basically use this instrument and just tough stuff the PRF membranes inside these pockets. Okay, so you're just gonna slowly place it in there you do not need sutures in a lot of these cases. Like I said, this is all to do with non-surgical periodontal therapy. In these cases here, we're really trying to investigate what do you do with a patient when they have five, six, seven millimeter pockets and you know whether we should do surgery to those patients, whether or not we should attempt something, should we use lasers, should we tuck the PRF in, can we use combination approaches? That's all current research that's currently being done and that's kind of where we're at today with respect to using PRF for intrabony defects. And I think the future field, like I said, will be very, um, will, will determine whether or not we can actually gain a couple extra millimeters here and there by using PRF in some of these different strategies.